So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in this video, we will be learning about the standard modified standard or uh, modified factor test calculation. So, I'll be explaining the Excel sheet formation of the standard or modified factor test. So, these are the values uh, which are taken uh, from the laboratory test of standard factor test. So, using these values, uh, I'll explain how we can calculate uh, the maximum dry density and optimum moisture content from standard proctor test. So, uh, let's see. First, we will note down the height of the mold. That is 4.584 inch and then uh, will convert it into centimeters by multiplying 4.584 into 2.54 2.54 so in this way we will obtain in centimeter value then we have diameter of mold that is 4 inch then we again uh, will multiply it by 2.54 to get 10.1 one six centimeter so how we select the dia of mold and height of mold for this uh, let me make you understand uh, through this concept so here you can see that uh, standard proctor test is of three types method a method B and method C. So method A is uh, performed on the material of passing C number 4 and what is the condition uh, for using this method? This method is used when 20% or less by weight of material is retained on C number 4. So what are the specifications of the mold and all other uh, parameters for the proctor test in this method uh, we will be using mold of di uh, mold of diameter 4 inch for method a and mold of height 4.5 weight 4 inch then uh, number of layers will be 3 number of loads will be 25 and so on then method b method b is performed on the material of passing 3 by 18 c when it is performed when 20 percent or more uh, material is retained on sieve number 4 then this method is applied and the specification for this method are given here now the method C is applied on the passing of sieve number 3 by 4 inch and it is applied when more than 20% by weight of material is retained on 3 by 8 inch in this uh, method you can see that uh, dia of the mold is uh, 6 inch 6 inch diameter mold is used then height is same then there are 56 number of loads per layer so this is the difference between these three methods so we have uh, in our case is method a that is why we have taken these values now firstly we will uh, note down the mass of the mold so from these uh, observations you can see we note down these values then mass of mold plus compacted soil for all the trials for first trial it is 3177 you can see here for the second one is 33310 3438 as you know firstly this weight will start increasing and there comes a point when it will start decreasing with the increase of moisture content so uh, when it starts decreasing after two uh, observations, two to three observations, we terminate the test basically. So this is the termination point actually. Then we calculate the uh, volume of the mold. That is, uh, you can see the volume of mold is basically pi d square by 4 into h. So pi d square pi value is 3.14156. D square is given over here. Uh, here then divided by 4 into height is given over here so in this way we will find out the volume now if we divide the weight by volume 
or if we want to get the wet weight of compacted soil only. So what we will do, we will simply subtract uh, from this value 3177 minus the weight of mold then we will obtain the wet weight of compacted soil. Similarly for all the trials we will obtain the wet weight of the soil. Then in the next step we will find out the unit weight. Unit weight is weight per unit volume. So we have weight then we will divide it by 943.94. You can see here the formula. In this way we will obtain the uh, wet unit weight. Similarly for all these uh, trials we will obtain the wet unit weight. Now, now we need to obtain the uh, dry unit weight. So for the dry unit weight formula is this unit weight, wet unit weight divided by 1 plus moisture content over 100. So we cannot find out dry, uh, uh, dry unit weight until we find out the moisture content for all that time. So we will find out the moisture content and the readings are given out here. Weight of the can is given here you can see. Then weight of can plus wet soil. This is given over here. These values are taken from there. Then weight of can plus dry soil. We will obtain these values. Then we have weight of water. How we will obtain the weight of water you can see. If we simply subtract weight of red, uh, soil plus can minus weight of can plus dry soil, then we will obtain the weight of water. Then we have to find out the weight of soil solid. If we simply subtract weight of dry soil plus can minus weight of can, then we will have left with weight of dry soil. So this, this is how we will obtain the uh, WS. You can see here the formula. For all the trials, we will apply the same procedure. Now, as we know that moisture content is basically weight of water divided by weight of soil solids into 100. So you can see here the formula. We will find out the moisture content. Now we will put this value in this formula to obtain the dry unit weight over here. For all the trials, we will be finding out the uh, dry unit weight. Now what we will do is uh, you can see here the maximum dry unit weight. Maximum dry unit weight is 1.90. So we will apply the formula of max out of this uh, row and the maximum value is 1.90. This is basically maximum dry density. Then OMC corresponding to the MDD water content is basically OMC. Remember always this is corresponding to the maximum dry density value. Either it is increasing here, but the optimum moisture content is always corresponding to the maximum dry density. So this is how we obtain these two parameters. Now we have to draw the graph. What we will do, uh, we will select the uh, graph like here from here. We will select this or this graph like uh, I can draw it here. So I can draw here as well. Okay. Now what I will do? Select data. Add. Along the x-axis we have moisture content. So I will select this. So I will be selecting this row like this. Then I have to select along the y axis that is dry unit weight. So I will select this one and OK. OK. Now you can see the graph has been plotted. So this is how you will plot the graph compaction curve. So I hope you like the video. Uh, I did this just to make the video short. So if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.